to the fresh dish for So You Think You Can Dance. Last week, we said that I was gonna pick a new co-host this week because all of the dancers, it was the top 10 and they were all getting new partners. So I have my little hat here and I'm gonna pick my new co-host for the week. Let's see what we have here, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> what? It says Ernie. Yeah. Do you see that? I'm supposed right. to get a new co-host. You Wait. know what? I showed up in studio just in case. You know, just in case you pick my name. Okay, hold on. Let me try again. Wait, no, no, no. You name. don't have to do that. No. no, no, really. You don't have to do... Ernie! Who did that? It's your name again. What? Oh, goodness. You know what? Some things are just All meant right. to be, people. They're well, just meant to be sometimes. Actually, I'm happy to have you, Ernie, as my co-host. You know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that you're you. happy. Yes. I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> Well, do you want to get us started since you're back on this week? What do we have you know going what? on? You know what? I do. And first of all, I want to say this. Debbie Allen, you are awesome. Okay? I don't know if you guys caught this, all right? Mm -hmm. But she gave Dance Dish a shout out, basically. She was talking about the show and how it's like it's moved up to another level, you know? And how it's more about like conversation and dance as a, as a whole. And it's like talking about it, you know, for, for days and days after it. And what do we do? What is this show all about? We talk about So You Think You Can Dance. That's right. And we transcend dance because we don't only just talk about So You Think You Can Dance. We talk about Dancing with the Stars. We talk about the, the <laughs> IDA. Well, the IDA, all the dancers. We get interviews with the dancers. Like years after the, they're off of these shows. Yeah. And we keep it going. We're sponsoring this awesome event. Yes, Final Cut 2009 on Saturday. So come on, people. Go to dancedish.com for more information on that, too, because you can see Matt Dorme from So You Think You Can Dance Season what? 4. He's actually dancing, and he's on faculty, and we have an interview with him, Ernie. We do. Yes, I met him yesterday. We love Matt, so oh stay tuned. Oh, my goodness. Next few minutes. The you know? Fresh Dish, people, bringing you something to talk about. Yes, and bringing you Matt at the end of our show. That's right. All right, let's go ahead and get on with the show, and let's talk about who got voted off this week. We have to. We have to start with Randy and Capono. Yeah, I was so surprised. You were not surprised, and I was not surprised, because any time that uh, these dancers get the Paso Doble, come on, it's a disaster. They just yes. don't do it like Dancing with the Stars does it, and we have to start stepping it up. Stepping it up. Yeah, yeah, you know what, and you're right. And and the criticism that Capono got, I could totally see when they were doing the replay on it, when they were talking about his footwork and how it was kind of a little bit sloppy, you know, and it wasn't really like boom, 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 like really hitting it. Mm -hmm. I totally, like, now I'm like, oh, yeah, duh, I could see that. Yeah, it wasn't that good. See, I didn't really see that. I got lost in the music. I was so frustrated mm. that it was so dramatic, and I think they overplayed it. Right. Sometimes I get confused because I was thinking, based on the judges' critiques, right. like, was it the choreography or was it um, the dancers? It was the bad music. I think it was the music. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's the music, people. I'm sorry. It just is. Yeah, you have to, in order to have a triple threat, Part of it is the music. Right. Got and then it. another thing I thought kind of went against them was the whole wig thing. You know? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I've worn a wig from time to time, folks, if you guys have been fans of the show for a while. And it's confusing to people when they're used to seeing one thing and then you have a <laughs> wig on and they're seeing you be something else. That's not what people sign up for and why people become fans of you. Mm -mm. For you to try and disguise yourself or be something different than what you are. Yeah, and that was our Dancing with the Stars show. And I've noticed you have not worn one yet for So You Think You Can Dance. You know what? Because we want people to know who Ernie yeah, is. Yeah, we want people to know who I am. And I don't <laughs> want to get voted off anytime soon. No. <laughs> okay, well... So long for a farewell. We're very sad that Randy and Capono are yeah. gone. Because actually, you thought Capono was going to make it to the I final four. I thought he was going to be in the final four. And you know what? I'm not very happy because I really liked all the cool different outfits that he had. You know, every single week mm -hmm. he had something different and new. And this week was no different. He had some kind of feather thing. I even think I saw a feather, like, falling down <laughs> as he was walking towards his seat, you know, for the final two. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to miss the guy, you know? You know, that's because Capono designs some of his costumes. I heard Maybe that, Maybe that's yeah. why the feather flew off. Yeah, could be, could be. I don't know. Now, let's get to Kayla and Evan, okay? Mm -hmm. And right off the bat, I need to let you guys know something, okay? Okay. I don't know if you know this or not, but I am actually a lot shorter than Tammy is. 
Tammy, stand up. <laughs> you see? It's the chairs that do it, folks. Dual adjustments. But Come on. we deal with it, you know? <laughs> we deal with it. Everybody deals with things like that. You know? I'm really, really smart. But I'm smarter. <laughs> Don't play that one with okay, me. Okay, sorry about that. All right. I almost had her, though. I almost no, had her. No, no, no. No, okay. But you know what? Yeah, the waltz. Hmm. Well, I'm still not over the hype thing. Okay. Because, come All on, right. it's 2009. Are we still talking, discussing about height and whose guys can't be short? Come on. Right, like it's vertical discrimination. What is this all about? I know. Like, you can't have short guy dancers. Yeah, this yeah. Just, it, I don't like it. Yeah, it's bad. Like, I think I walked into, I walked into a bar one time because I'm a short guy. They're like, you can't drink here. And you're like, it's so 2009. Yeah. T come on. That's horrible. <laughs> I had to take a separate bus and oh, oh it was bad. Yeah, I'm just glad I get to vote finally. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving up in this world. Yes, Short we people, are. We have rights now. Yes, you guys have. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys do. have I'm rights. Tall, remember? Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, what about White Lightning? <sighs> White oh Lightning. Oh my goodness, Kayla. You know what? I got to admit, I was sh I was sharing uh, with this. Uh, I was sharing with you about yes. this earlier that Capono had mentioned previously that Kayla sweats a lot, mm -hmm. and to me. When I used to see Kayla dance, I was like, wow. But now that I know uh -huh. that she's got like sweaty feet and sweaty hands and stuff, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it anymore. And what did I tell you? I said she dances for like eight to ten hours a day. Of course she's going to sweat. <laughs> hey, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> and I haven't really done anything. And what, two minutes? Where are we on this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll try and let it slide. It's just stuck in my head. I don't know why. Yeah, but... Okay, we didn't talk much about their dancing. Let me touch on the waltz. Right okay, quickly. all right. Because I think Kayla is a beautiful dancer, and Mary, they always say it, her lines, everything is beautiful. And the way Evan turned her, oh, I yeah. mean, we have to give Evan props. Yeah, and those lifts were uh -huh. really, really amazing. For, for, you know, a guy, you know, vertically challenged just like myself, <laughs> he was really lifting her up pretty high. So. And wearing heels at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not comfortable, so I've heard. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. you wouldn't know anything about that. I wouldn't. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Jeanette and Ade. Oh, this hip hop. I loved it. I loved it too. And I tell you what, I went out looking for a, uh, you know, uh, what, are those, what are those things called? A hair pick? Oh. I went out looking for one because I'm like, man, if one of those can hypnotize some hot babe, I'm going to wear like two or three of those suckers. You know what I mean? Here we go again. <laughs> Man, but I couldn't find one. Yeah, well, it did, was pretty sad. Yeah, that's fine. Did Tabitha and Napoleon have, did they have the pick in mind? That's what I want to know. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's a prop. I mean, yeah. he's, he's showing it all season. He wears that thing throughout all the rehearsals. It's like, why not? You know, because I think this, a day is, is, he's not really showing his personality as much, you know? And I think the choreographers know what they have to work with, and they're thinking like, hey, why not make this entire routine about something personal about mm -hmm. our day to maybe get him some votes? Because, hey, guess what? He was in the bottom two this week, and he's an amazing dancer. But I thought this routine showed his personality and everything about him more than anything he's ever done. Right, right. But sometimes it's going to take a few weeks to really play catch up here. You know, there's mm -hmm. some other dancers that are just completely personable, and mm -hmm. everybody knows it week in and week out, so it's going to take a little bit of catch up for Ade. But he had Jeanette as his partner, and yes. she fully commits to everything she does. So I'm sure when he pulled your, she got his name. Yeah, you know, she was as excited like, as you were when you <laughs> got my name, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. excited. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, very, very <laughs> much. <laughs> All right, so now let's let's move on. Can we move on now? Yes. All right, let's. Jeanette to Janine. Yes. Let's not get him confused. Yes, <laughs> yes, and Jason. And they danced a com contemporary dance. And I'm in love with Janine now. Oh, hey, let's put him on our hot dish. Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do no, it. No, we're hot smelly train. We got the hot dish. Hot dish. Shh, serving it up. Sizzle, sizzle. Man, she made let's me still work sizzle. On that. Yeah, we'll work on it a little <laughs> bit more. But man, it was like, 
You know what, I, I know everyone like on our YouTube page and everything comments all the time about Janine. They're talking about, oh, Janine this, Janine that, just wait and see. And this week, it was really like one of those things where she really just captured my heart, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that routine was just so passionate and hot. And that, that kiss? That's right. Wow. Okay, of course, I did not forget about that. Yeah. And I'm not going to start any rumors, but she didn't let that kiss go. She kept kissing him, and the cameras were still still rolling. Yeah, you know what? I think because she was in character. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get yourself out of character, you know? Maybe that's what it was.